here is uh, uh, looking uh, at movement, uh, sports movement, throwing and jumping and sprinting and so on. And for this we have an excellent laboratory with uh, a lot of uh, uh, nice tools to measure movement. Uh, one thing that we are looking at is uh, the kinematics of the movement. So therefore we need cameras. And in order to reconstruct a three-dimensional movement, we need a lot of cameras so that we can recognize every part of the body um, when the, the, the body is, is uh, moving at high speed. So we have here about, in total, we have 32 cameras that, can, that we can position in order to look at uh, the, 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 all, all the um, uh, bony landmarks that we actually are, are, are uh, looking at. Um, together with uh, the kinematics, we have also force plates that you can see there. We can have different, different uh, scope structs of the force plates, and the force plates are measuring not only vertical forces when you jump, you have you experience some vertical force, but also some shear forces because uh, you're sliding in the in the two directions. So this is a 3D uh, force plate that we can uh, put like this or like this uh, when we are uh, going to uh, measure, for example, sprinting. Uh, start the start forces, the start. Uh, uh, accelerations that we are measuring also and if we combine the kinematics with the kinetics and then some anthropometry we can do inverse dynamics meaning we can actually calculate the loads of the joints so it's not only muscles it's also the joints that are actually under loading and uh, with uh, cinema so meaning with kinematics and the strength the force and we know about the, um, uh, the, the various uh, lever arms that, for example, a tendon has, like the Achilles tendon, we can more or less measure quite precisely the, the, the lever arm. So we can calculate also from this amount of data the amount of load that we can put the Achilles tendon on and try to avoid uh, extreme loading during certain uh, movements. We have also here an instrumented treadmill, meaning that um, we can also measure the force while running on a treadmill. So uh, uh, we can uh, monitor the system, not only just for a few seconds, but for minutes, hours, if you want. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we have the major advantage that we can walk in height. So we can also uh, do some nice things with uh, jumping and throwing a ball and uh, we do a lot on handball uh, nowadays <coughs> with uh, uh, throwing velocities and so on. So uh, we are calculating also or measuring also not only the load on the knees but also on the shoulder. Uh, and then we can have, have uh, some nice uh, uh, possibilities. <coughs> Uh, here, uh, you see a uh, <coughs> kind of isogenetic equipment, uh, which is quite robust. It's one of the strongest in, in Europe right now. It's the isonet. And then the nice thing about it is that it's a little closer. It's a little closer. No, it's not open. It's not really open. So the nice thing about this is the green button here. Yeah. <coughs> from the lab immediately into the into the big hall into the big gymnasium uh, if we want to do uh, throwing activities or sprinting activities we can uh, we can immediately uh, use this here 
which is quite uh, amazing. So you can run in from the lab or you can run out from the lab. You know. So uh, that's... Uh, We are quite fortunate to have this kind of facilities. And of course, the Department of Sports Medicine is using this. Actually, this is a construct where we used um, uh, heavy weight lifting uh, to uh, control the, the, the weights that they don't, the athletes don't fall backwards. So we try to avoid accidents or injuries. That's about it. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.